Hello people, in this video today, I'm going to be talking about things to look forward to when I move to Ontario. Here are some of the reasons. Number one is family. You can't go wrong with that. My dad's side of the family is a big part of why I want to go to Ontario. And on the other side of things is when I was a kid. I mean, I get uh, sometimes some when, when you were a kid, when everybody was a kid, you know, they, they probably go through some rough patches growing up. And some, not so much. They had a great childhood. Some people have great childhoods. Sometimes they don't have great childhoods. It all depends on what you grew up on. For me, personally, I grew up uh, with, you know, being a car crash. And uh, it wasn't all that great for me. Uh, because I had to go to the hospital and do some surgery and it was not at all pleasant. Because what they ended up doing is they had to put stitches, or not stitches, but they had to go inside my brain, probably put me to sleep, and they had to go around my head because I had bleeding in the brain, okay? Because it, it was just really uh, something that wasn't really meant to be. Uh, but I survived it, thank God, because I wouldn't do half of the things I would have done if I was on deep, deep, deep disability. So thanks to the doctors, of course. As for my mom, well, she did some things, apparently I don't know, but my dad, what he told me is that she personally uh, did these things. Uh, from, I, he didn't really know why. She would smoke, she would uh, do these things just because it, some of the time it just didn't make sense to her. Or, or she, you know, she just had a hard time in life. And uh, I think that um, what she did was terrifying. I mean, going through that process, it was it must have been terrifying for her. Uh, but in spite of what she did, you know, I, I couldn't do anything about it. But what she did was that she did a overdose. Okay. And uh, my dad was depressed for a long time. I thank him for being with me since at a, since a young age, right? I mean, just going through that process, right? That process is the killer because he was the only one that stood by my side when I was young, right? It's just those things that you have to do with the people that you love and care for, whoever is left, that is. But yeah, he, he did this, he did this for me, and really I should be thanking him a lot, and I've done that, but because in spite of what she did, what she has done, really wrecked my dad's life at that time. He's probably better than he was at that period, but he's... He's, you know, he's still the same dad I know. But with that being said, uh, my mom's grave, believe it or not, is still in Ontario. And uh, what I have to say about that is simply that's why I want to go there because I know it's kind of stupid, really. Why would you want to go there if your mom's grave is there? But honestly, my mom's 
Uh, I never knew my mom. Okay, I didn't know what her favorite thing was, what she liked to do, what she liked to say, what, how she acted, like her voice, what it was like. You know, if she had an accent or something like that. I didn't know anything of that. It was all blurred to me, right? And I know this is kind of sounding a little bit more like it's a sad story than a point to move to Ontario, but it's just um, one of those things that I think in my mind, you know what, I have family in there, down there from my dad's side, and my mom's grave is there, which, you know, possibly I would be close to. There's a lot of transportation there, which is great because I don't drive. Right? It could be possible that I could go to work more quicker than always biking. And one thing that I don't like is that dreadful hill that you have to go all the way up towards McDonald's. And it is just... And also any other, you know, extra foods, uh, Walmart, Dairy Queen, etc. You have to go up the hill and imagine biking that all the time. But... You know, it's just one of those painful things, but if I had a transit, right, it'll be a lot more different. And it would be a lot more better. Okay, it would be a lot more better. Sorry for the voice crack. It would be a lot more better because I just think that transit down there is so much transit. There's subways, there's go trains, there's, um, Taxis, right? There's, you know, um, uh, planes and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is absolutely crazy, mind boggling, even. Or should I say, mind boggling? I don't know what else I said, but that's what I meant. But, uh, yeah, that it's just everything down there and there's so much to do there's like a whole bunch of rides canada's wonderland marine land um you know when it comes to summertime they do this kind of fair big ride opening thing downtown in toronto and don't get me wrong sometimes the crime rate down there is bad right there's gangs and stuff down there but as long as i go indoors lock the doors and they don't go out at night time i should be good right i should be good but yet again it's toronto anything can happen so you have, i have to be careful in order to do the things i want to do right because if i don't if i don't then you know what I mean, you know, it's just, I don't, I don't like to think too much about this thing, right? But I know from a perspective that moving to Ontario, I remember when I was a kid, right? Okay, I would always say, oh, I can't wait to move to Ontario. I want Ontario, I want Ontario. And then, you know, I just sound like a kid. I'm always, we're all kids inside. Come on, get over it. And, uh, you know, anyways, the... I like Toronto, I like Ontario, I like people down there. There's a whole lot of people and, you know, even though Justin Trudeau lives down there, possibly either or in Quebec or, you know, somewhere in Ontario. But that's where, you know, it all began. That's where I was born because I was born in Wellington, Ontario. So, or not Wellington, Welland. Ontario okay because that's just how I grew up I and mean, I see a lot of people move ever since I've been in BC and I've also been in Manitoba where I lived in Winnipeg before too but that was only for a temporary that was only temporary for you know my dad's work right I was always getting picked on that's one place I got so picked on when growing up in school I got bullied I got mistreated and, you know, this world is so corrupt by bullies and, and, and gangs and shootings and deaths that it should never be. We should just live how we want to live. We should not kill one another. Not one another. We should love 
one another because if we just go killing people how is that going to solve anything right how is that going to prevent uh me from feeling better just because let's say growing up it was that my high school i got bullied and picked on and when i'm older i find the same guy that did that to me so i just shoot him and kill him and get it over with just because I didn't like him in high school. How's that solving anything? Right? Instead, you know, we should love and, and even if we don't love, we should move on and turn the other, you know, walk away and move on. We shouldn't kill people just because it feels like we should. We just can do it because we want to. Or I mean, not that we want to, we don't want to, right? But it's something to consider where we should love one another than kill one another. And I know I'm sounding kind of what God would say, but it's true. You know, he made us down here for a purpose to love one another, right? And that's a big part of this world. The world doesn't see us as uh, killing people. It sees us as... Trying to love one another, to get along with one another, to support one another, to adore one another, to be treated equally with one another. You know, it's so funny. My parents always told me that uh, treat others the way you want to be treated. Don't go and do what other people won't. Now, this is totally off topic of why I want to move to Ontario. You see where this is going? Uh, no. Um, main point of this story is just to say that I look forward to Ontario, but a lot of people think I'm moving in 2020, where I'm not. I'm moving in 2021. Okay, I have a calendar out there, right? And I am not moving until 2021, right? And I did a little pause there because I got you a jinx, right? But that's the reality of it. I'm going in 2021, right? Now that we got that over with, let's move on. And what to move on better than to say, I'm going to work hard in the meantime, with my job, of course, and also dance like it's like there's no tomorrow, basically. Like there's absolutely no tomorrow is basically what I'm gonna say. And then I'm gonna improve that by carrying on my way. And I got my Jekyll Rave shirt, so yeah, it's gonna be amazing. There's already people buy getting my shirts and I'm almost basically out of them. I'm basically out of them right now. So, with that being said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you are in the mood, like it. By all means, this is a world of fun we all live in and we all like our movies, our videos, I should say, where we make up, because we're all our own artists, right? We make something, if it's a craft, right? And we go on. So, anyways, getting off topic here. If you like it, please leave a like. If you're, new to channel, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and ring that notification bell. See you next time. Till then, this is Jaguar Raves. Peace and out. Till next time. Bye bye.